were some of the catchy words that the former ELO speaker Margaret Natungozua used while later rating her stance to contest in the forthcoming general elections, explaining her political interests for MP Kampala Central. Owing to the fact that her political journey started in Kampala City, Ziwa believes she knows what the citizens of Kampala need as far as service delivery is concerned. She, however, notes that the people of Kampala have not been represented appropriately over the past years. I initiated and I started many programs and projects which the women themselves embraced and they were able to, you know, move with them. For instance, the savings and credit, which later also coiled the concept of Negina, where they would come together as a group, they save their money. Immediately I went, all those en efforts and energies subsided and they died out. That's why wherever I go, they say, Mama Negina, Koma wo, Negina zafa nebi kopo biaya tika tuwa gala tudemu Negina. I mean to them, I was bringing life to their activities. I was able to revive them and I was able to train them. I want to repeat that. I want to do it again. Once voted in power after the tightly contested 2016 polls, Ziwa promises among other key factors to advocate for the proper utilization of projects and government programs to benefit all citizens. First and foremost, we are in the NIM primaries. But the strong points, I know I can effectively advocate for the uh, placement or for the enjoyment of the benefits or the projects and programs which NRM government has put in place so that my people can benefit from them. That's very key. Things like you, you still find people who uh, 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 cannot even access the basic amenities. Margaret Izua points out some of the challenges she has encountered while pursuing her interest in Uganda's political terrain. The, 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 within the party there has been uh, about two or three challenges, namely, for instance, the dates for the elections have been continuously changed. That in itself is a very big challenge. Uh, like today would have been a voting day, but it's not. You still find some people very masculine in, in, in approach. Uh, the other one was saying, it's not only, uh, I don't know how to translate it in English, meaning that the position I'm standing on cannot be expected to, to be of a woman. I'm coming for the constituency. Ziwa was one of the constituent assembly members who drafted the 1995 constitution and also served as woman MP for Kampala district from 1996 to 2006. Elected in June 2012 by the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly for a five-year term, Ziwa was the first female speaker of IALA. Just Nina Chivole, WBS-TV, Kampala.